gonna knock out this flavor story. What happened to flavor? VTuber companies seem to grow and die even before a Corona stream ends. In this new age of oversaturation, it wouldn't be wrong to think that all new companies are simply scams that will not survive the first year, like some other cases. It is so refreshing when we see a new company that cares about their talents and talent freedom. Flavor. A company that seems to embody everything we wanted in a VTuber corporation. Or does it? What people seem to forget is who was the CEO and founder of Flavor and what it was before it got big. Kuroko, a company started as an idol group funded by a tech performer Pippa P. Pipkin, had a big start. But after some bad management decisions perpetrated by the CEO where she was caught forcing one of the talents to graduate after she refused her romantic advances, after the scandal was brought to light, Kuroko went radio silent. It's time for the final yab. Hold on. Dating chat, there's one thing I want to do before the final yab. There's one thing I want to do before the final yab, chat. Just one thing. Fuck! You whore! Fire the snitch? I'll fire her for her recent scam. You can get fired Which will for probably be the thing old. that Sock gonna fire, fires me for eventually. Life imitates art, chat! She's too old, she's over 14! <laughs> you guys are so fucked! Oh my god. We want Kuroko to project a more youthful image. A wise man told me that the blueprint for success was rage and youthful exuberance. My youth has... Oh, my youth has faded. But I've still got the rage! Immediately! Oh my Bro, this, god. This must be the motherfucking pink woman Celine Totsky speedrun. It seems to be that the young CEO's dream was killed before it could take flight. Or was it? Ms. Pippa came back months later with what appeared to be the golden ticket of opportunities. Instead of going through the hard and arduous work of managing an idol company, she decided to go into the much easier field of VTuber entertainment. As such, she did a presentation to the investors showing the project in which she addressed the concerns and worries about past ventures. It is definitely not Kuriko. Don't worry about it. It is definitely not Kuriko. Definitely not. Definitely not Kuriko. This is a completely new agency. I've closed down Kuriko. I've closed down Kuriko. After funding was acquired, CEO Pippa decided to skip on the waiting for the ringing and close the auditions with talent secured telling them to just stream with the still P and G models. Such talents were as follow. Mina Vanilla, known as Baked Fresh, is a front runner of the first generation. She was deemed Baked Fresh, a little nickname she got while doing a bit of advertisement in the Reddit board of r slash virtual YouTubers, where she posted pictures of her fresh buns and just said, you guys are not ready for flavor. Senna Bonbon, Damn. a talented crafter to whom you would want to create a shed or start a family with. She's known for having one of the most practical streams in the VTuber sphere since she builds something once a week. Dr. Lorime, also known as Citria, is the token lolly that is always trying to appear a bit smarter than she is. Most of her streams are just a combination of Brazilian noises, rage, and references to memes that were popular in i24 months ago. Donna. Vina de Molo. One of the talents has streamed the least since it seems like health complications and a complicated family life makes it difficult for her to stream regularly. But her streams have been full of soul and heart. She's shown a very deep understanding and appreciation in wine, olive oil, and chipmunks. Rika Paprika. From the beginning, Rika she had complications with her internet connection, okay. so she was not able to Can stream. Yeah, her debut I... was cut abruptly as she was hit by a level 9 earthquake. The company flavor started with hype and enough momentum to create a good environment for the talents to thrive. It seemed like the past mismanagements done by Ms. Pepper were used as a learning experience and would never happen again. But, unfortunately, this wasn't the case. Right after Minna Vanilla debuted, allegations of selling erotic photos to high-paying donors started to Okay, come so this is the fake controversy. She was accused of ghosting her creator that had made a cover for her, not giving them payment and completely scrapping the project 
after all the work was done. Was this a case of a talent thinking she had more clout than she had? Or was this a case of mismanagement? As we are writing this video, we were informed of a candidate for Flavor Invaders came out against Miss Pippa. It seems like her old ways of abusing her position of power to try and get into a relationship hasn't changed one bit. I I was watching my favorite pink TikTok bunny, Pipkin Pippa, and having a good time watching her look at the growth of her very own VTuber children in flavor. She can be considered their birth VTuber mama because she made all of their designs. However, at one point, when she was trying to confront Minna Vanilla about the recent allegations, which even doing it live made me really uncomfortable. How can she put someone so vulnerable in a position like that? Uh, about Minna sending lewd pictures to her whales as an extra thank you? Things took a dark turn. I've included some screenshots of the interaction. After trying to lull Minna into a false sense of security, she then decided to try asking for Minna to take pictures herself. There is rampant misogyny in the VTuber community, but I never thought I would see a female VTuber herself perpetuating the cycle of patriarchal influence. This some dumb Watching you Minna become increasingly uncomfortable and wringing her hands on the back oh, no. of the ears, I began literally shaking as my worry grew and grew i could not stay silent while watching this after minna literally fainted under pippa's big pressure <laughs> pippa further humiliated her while she was unconscious first by making a joke about not being bill cosby but then she takes a picture of minna while she's unconscious this is a heinous behavior that we need to call out. Not just in the VTuber community, but in the streaming community at large. So many female content creators are taken advantage of in this industry. How widespread this behavior seems to be for managers. Could Bro, to put just like Amaranth is kind of fucked up for the joke, brother. Considered a form of sexual terrorism this is the result of gamergate years of far right wing trolls mocking women just when you think things couldn't get any worse pippa stayed there and watched until minna woke up clearly distraught over what she just went through and pippa continued her assault by telling minna to suck a da pee pee and here's some cab money I know Minna has taken pictures of her fellow genmates and uploaded them without their consent before, but but this, this isn't about her past sins. What? This is about her being taken advantage of by someone abusing their position of power. Uh, I just, I just want to donate to the Kofi and the Patreon link and oh my God. And I don't know how to anymore. Please, please don't attack anyone mentioned in this tweet longer and, and remember, Please donate to my Kofi and my Patreon. The link are in my bio. As of today, we have not gotten a response from Miss Pepper, nor Mina, about these allegations. Will Flavor become the next big thing in the VTuber world, or will Miss Pepper's style of management and Flavor's unruly talents crash and burn as we're having to cure up her? Only time will tell. How did it all come to this? This whole situation. <laughs> situation to places I never thought I would. I don't know what I can do at this point in my life. What with the allegations and the black cloud of failure hovering above my head, or maybe it's just the Californian smog, I don't know. It's a tragic existence and I, I just don't know what to do with myself anymore. I might go beg for Twitter verification. You lost your kids, I lost my kids, I lost everything. I lost everything. I don't know what to do with myself anymore. Yes, yeah, so that was a that was a whole thing. I don't know how I'm gonna make amends with with flavor, but I'll I'll take tonight to reflect on my actions. As of the writing of this piece, a rift has formed between CEO Ms. Pippa and the other people at Flavor. Bro, what the fuck?
<laughs> Flavor, the future of AI VTubing. Flavor is a talent agency that- Okay, all right, I get it. Okay, okay, it's a running gag. 